as of right now, today, we hit 10,000 subscribers. How cool. I just want to thank everybody like one day I'll tell my whole story and you guys will understand how much this stupid little show means to me and I couldn't do it without you guys I know 10,000 is not a whole lot but I don't take any of it for granted at all I'm proud of my content I'm proud of what I do and I know it doesn't just grab the masses attention so going into this I knew that it was gonna be a long grind I couldn't just grab everybody I had to find the right people and so far I found 10,000 I thank you guys so much so I figured for 10,000 I'm gonna talk about my 10 favorite things that I've got to experience on this channel or because of this channel and this is in no particular order because as you could probably tell from my content my ideas and passions change on a whim I have championships rings and the holy grail I'm all over the place let it be known I know 10,000 is nothing this is not a victory speech it's just a way for me to try to enjoy the journey and not worry so much about the destination so that's why I want to do a video like this I am far from a success hopefully this channel has a long way to go so the first thing if I was to go in order this would be number one the relationships that I've built or strengthened because of this channel from friends of mine that I've had for years that got to go with me and experience some of these things. I started the channel with my brother. My cousin's involved now. Sometimes I got my little niecey niece. Hopefully my new nephew will make an appearance as well at some point. Big Bread Fred sees some two of my best friends. Josh Fields from Hatch 86 Films, my boy Neto, my boy Rich, aka Epicenter, and of course the boy himself. Not really a boy any longer, but he'll always be a boy to me. And then some of the relationships from the channel. Kathy Cleep, she's the president of the Historic Union Cemetery Association. So much kindness shown towards me. I got to speak at a little private event at the cemetery and met a whole bunch of other really cool people, which led to a lot of opportunities, a documentary, and even a magazine article, which I have right up here. It means the world to me. I got to be an ambassador for the immersive Van Gogh exhibit and then I got to meet so many amazing 49er fans. Everyone involved in the trivia as well as other people that have just come up to me and say they enjoy my videos. I mean this has happened at Giants games, Niner games, Warrior games. So for my tiny little channel to have that kind of an impact and reach where people actually just will take a moment out of their day to say I appreciate what you did or I enjoy your videos. I mean, it makes it all worthwhile. Another experience that I'll never forget, the top of the Empire State Building. Tons of tourists go there. Millions of tourists have been there. It's there, everybody goes. It's nothing super special, but it was for me. When I was a kid, I kind of had a, a, a little bit of an infatuation with the Empire State Building. So it was something I always wanted to do, first of all, but also it was one of the first times where it really hit me what I could do with these videos and these videos gave me a purpose. Because as much as I wanted to go to the top of the Empire State Building, it was one of those things I probably would have never did. I would have kept kicking the can down the road. But because of my channel, it forced me to be like, no, go film an episode. Wouldn't have been able to do it without Amos being there. And it was just such an amazing experience for me and, and one that definitely changed my brain chemistry. And I was emotional about it. I still am if I watch that video. So that video means a lot to me. On the surface, it may not seem like too much, but in here, it was a, it was a huge deal. Another thing is just the cool coverage we've got. We were on the news in San Diego. I got to be in that magazine. We were in an ESPN commercial. I mean, that was incredible. My cousin Dustin texted me like, I just saw you on Monday Night Football. How cool, you know? One of our videos is used as curriculum in a French high school textbook about the American West. Uh, they have a link to the Bodie video. And we've gotten various articles and things like that written and just, just awesome. And speaking of Bodie, going to Bodie Ghost Town, filming during the day, taking a little break, and then filming again at night Oh my god, I can't even put it into words how cool that was. Just being able to walk around a real ghost town at night was just incredible. Shout out to my cousin Steve for helping out with that. It was super fun. And I mentioned in the video, but being able to see like the entire Milky Way with your naked eye was just awe-inspiring. And what's next? I would say the NFC Championship game. I'd been to one before when we lost, so going to one where we won to go to the Super Bowl? Are you kidding me right now? 
I legitimately was tearing up. I wasn't just saying that for the video, if you were wondering. I was actually tearing up and I was trying not to cry. I actually went to that game by myself and the people around me were super cool. They'll probably never remember me, but I'll never forget them. And then on that note, in 2019, you guys may remember, I went to the NBA Finals, Warriors Raptors at Oracle Arena, and we got stomped. It was so much fun, first half, second half, not fun at all. So I always had this little thing that bothered me, that I finally got to go to my first NBA Finals game, and it was a loss. But luckily, last year, the Warriors made it again. And I went to a game, I did a video, we won. Ah, oh my God. As a kid, I would have never dreamt that that would happen. Sports was definitely a huge part of my life and a huge escape for me. So I definitely live vicariously through my teams. Probably to a detriment, but that video and that experience was incredible. I mean, are we talking championships or what? And then to keep it on the sports theme, taking batting practice at what was then AT&T Park, now it's Oracle Park, home of the San Francisco Giants. Little backstory, a few weeks before that, I was talking to my brother Cole, and we were talking about bucket list experiences, and I was like taking batting practice at the ballpark. It'll probably never happen. I don't see a way for that to ever happen. And just a couple weeks later, someone emailed me, and said, hey, I have this, this opportunity to take batting practice at AT&T Park, but I can't go. Would you like to go? Come on, man, the universe sometimes, sometimes. <clears throat> I mean, to be able to take batting practice with Vita Blue heckling me, shout out Juan who went with me. God, it was so fun, it was so fun. The problem was, I don't know if I talked about this, if you see some of our original episodes, my finger is all wrapped up and splinted up because I broke my finger, it's still broken, never really healed correctly. So leading up to that batting practice day, I was pretty much inactive for like nine or 10 months straight because my finger was all wrapped up. So what sucks is when we finally did the batting practice, I pretty much had little league power. I was so weak. That's the only bummer about it, but I mean, come on, it was so much fun. Getting to play the hot corner, huh? Getting to play third base? <sighs> Shag some fly balls in left field where Barry Bonds played? Come on, man. Ah, I, I'll never forget it, I'll never forget it. And then I would say next would probably be the abandoned paper mill out in Oregon City, south of Portland. It was our very first urban exploration video, so it was super exciting to be like, oh, we're doing some urbex, you know, on the channel. It was so cold, it was like 35 degrees or something. And that paper mill sits right on the edge of the Willamette River, which I said wrong in all the videos that we did in Portland. And the Willamette Falls is right there, right? So. This paper mill and a bunch of other factories on the shore there were all harnessing the power of the Willamette Falls. So what was cool is we were walking through there and Cole just kind of sees a doorway that looks out over to the river. We have no idea what we're walking into. Walk out onto the catwalk. My mind was blown. Unfortunately, the cameras that we had weren't able to properly capture it. They were all kind of just wide angle cameras, but it was awe inspiring. It was incredible. It was a view of the Willamette Falls that you could only get by sneaking through this mill. The catwalk was probably 30, 40 feet maybe over the river. So we just got the river rushing underneath us. We got the second largest waterfall in the country by volume behind Niagara Falls, right to our left. Man, it was cool to just stumble on that. Like, oh cool, an abandoned factory, that's always fun. But to also stumble on this like natural wonder uh, that you could only see by doing that was uh, incredible. And for our first abandoned place video, uh, that was special. Also, have to mention Arco Arena. Recently did the three-part series on the Sacramento Sports Complex in Natomas. Going to an abandoned arena was always a dream. It was always something I would think about. I'd be like, oh, wouldn't that be cool? It was a bucket list thing, as we mentioned multiple times. So me, Cole, and Steven got to uh, experience that together. And to be in this arena where, you know, LeBron James made his debut, Mitch Richmond and Michael Jordan would battle it out, Kobe Bryant would battle it out, you know, with Chris Webber and Mike Bibby and Peja Stojakovic, just legendary NBA matchups. You know, almost every artist you could think of performed there. The WWE was there. Whatever wrestler you liked in the 80s and 90s wrestled there. The circus, Disney on Ice, whatever you can think of, anything that was anything went through that building. And then it was just us and it was just quiet. Finding the locker rooms, finding the, the clown cave. Oh God, it was, it was just, 
I can't even put it into words how cool it was. I still think about it constantly. Me and Cole and Steve, we constantly <laughs> text each other about it. Bit of a bummer that that video doesn't have more views. I think it's deserving of going viral, but I'm proud of it because my video is like that. It's a work in progress for me to learn how to tell these stories, but they're really love letters to these places. Arco Arena was somewhere I always wanted to go. I always saw it, you know, just like every arena and stadium. I'm, I'm always gonna say that. I always wanna go here because I wanna go to all of them. But it was still a cool one because of the, the Kings and Lakers matchups and the Warriors would play there all the time. It just had a cool name, like Arco Arena. Sounds cool. It always looked cool. It's, at least from the inside, it doesn't look cool on the outside, but the inside always looked cool because it's kind of like the square. It has like the wood paneling kind of thing on the steps. Like it just always looked cool. So to be there was just, it was incredible. And you know, we have the only video there. The place has been demolished. Nobody can ever do it again. I really think that video deserves more love because I tried to pour a lot of love into it. Is Even though I'm not a Kings fan, I'm a sports history fan. And that place was packed with sports history. And even Arco Park was super cool. The abandoned stadium right next door was awesome as well. And finally, I'll say the last thing, probably the paddle wheeler across Tahoe. We had gone to Tahoe as a family to spread my grandmother's ashes. And my grandmother had taken me on that cruise once or twice as a kid. I was probably about 10 years old. And it was one of my favorite memories. I love paddle wheelers. I love like Mark Twain. I love the Mark Twain riverboat at Disneyland. I did the abandoned paddle wheeler video. I've just always thought they were cool. And that experience with my grandmother, with my great aunt Susan and my cousin Steven was one of my favorite memories to do that again for my grandmother after we had spread her ashes and I got to do that video. That was my tribute to her. I did another video on my other channel. That's a little kind of sadder and more personal, which is one of my favorite videos I've ever done. But doing that cruise was awesome. And uh, I'll tell you guys a story about that drone footage it was not easy to get. I had to race around the lake. I had to beat the paddle wheeler to the cove. It was worth it because that video is uh, always going to be special to me. It tied into my childhood. It tied into my love for my grandmother. It's an experience I got to have with my Aunt Susan and my cousin Steven. It will always be uh, incredibly meaningful to me. Honorable mention, Globe Life Park. Me and Cole in 30 degree weather, watching where the Giants won the 2010 World Series. City Field, seeing the Giants play in New York. Those are all super cool experiences. Getting to see the boy himself grow up. Mentryville Ghost Town, I love that episode. One of the most underrated, that, Chuki General Store, and Knights Ferry Bridge. Three videos I love that don't have a lot of views. Meeting Adam the Woo was awesome. Doing the robot on a Texas Longhorn. <laughs> Come on, has anyone else ever done that in the history of life? I don't know, maybe. I can't find proof though. Running around a historic cemetery with my niece. <laughs> The clone gags, ah, I love doing the clones. Fist bumping Snoop Dogg, getting yelled at by Spike Lee's security in Brooklyn. Honorable mention of Manzanar, one of my favorite experiences as well. If I wasn't so into sports, this would definitely be in that top 10. I really enjoyed the way we did the video. I, I don't know, something about it, I thought we nailed it in the way that we wanted to do it. Allensworth, California, that's one of my favorite videos. Such important history, just kind of hidden out there. Not enough people know about it. So to be able to do that video, to help bring light on the park itself, as well as the Friends of Allensworth organization that helps upkeep it and do events. I enjoyed that a lot. I also really love the idea of having videos at places that no longer exist. You can no longer do videos there. I love Preston Castle. That was cool. The Reno Automobile Museum. It's one of my favorite episodes. Barely has any views, I don't think. The Warriors parades. Obviously all the trash talk I did at SoFi Stadium, even though the Rams went on to win it all. Still fun. We got to go to the MTV Unplugged of NFL games at the StubHub Center. We got to see Niners Rams at the LA Coliseum. All the local history, the abandoned greenhouses. I say this with all sincerity. This channel has saved my life. And if you took part in it in any way, by watching it, by subscribing, by liking it, by being involved in an episode, anything like that, you've helped give me a reason. That's pretty much all I can say. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate those of you that were total strangers and have supported me. People that I didn't know outside of this channel. Top Hat Debbie, Mimi, 
JV, Andrew, Brian Bohall, Conrad, Journey with Jay, Marco. There's probably some I'm missing, but it means so much to me. All the people that have left kind comments, saw me at a game or something and just said, hey, I enjoy what you do. It's so meaningful and I, I hope to do more to give back. You guys have done so much for me, so I want to keep doing more. For you guys, I mean, more like ticket giveaways. I enjoy giving away the Niner tickets, the Mercer Van Gogh tickets, giving out free shirts and things like that. It's the least I can do. Hopefully more to come. I got a whole lot in the works, a whole lot of episodes I still need to edit. Some really cool stuff. We go international, finally. Once again, thank you. This is just a tiny little notch on the belt, hopefully many more to come. I still do have aspirations of being able to do this channel full time. I mean, I've been doing this for seven years now. It took, it took seven years to get 10,000 subscribers. So I'm not holding my breath that I could ever do this as a career. But wouldn't that be cool? Here's a robot. Um, I'll skip the heel clicker, it's a little tight in here. Like, subscribe, share, do all the cool things the cool kids do, something or other tour for life. guys think of this little it's this is super unorganized so don't judge it but I built that lantern post and I have a video on patreon about it or did I already put it out maybe I need to put it out oops the Giants are the 2012 <laughs> world champions I couldn't get through it I had to like pause and come back to it because I was gonna start crying